Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. It was amid tears, heartbreak, disappointment, grief that Mr. Adedeko was buried. After much investigation, after much confusion, after much chaos as to what really happened to this young guy, as to what really happened to this father of three, as to what really happened to this vibrant, energetic, active, intelligent and ambitious young guy who went on a course to build his career, taking up a higher studies, trying to get more degrees to help himself to better his life and, and that of his family. But his life was cut short. In the midst of all this confusion, the court finally sentenced the hotel owner and some staff to death by hanging. We all feel that that was a fair judgment on them because an eye to an eye, come on, you took somebody's life, you have to pay with your own life. Before I will go into the things we are supposed to learn from this, let me give you like a background story of what really happened to this young guy. This is a young guy who is trying to further his education and he picked up a master's degree in OAU University. So going from Abuja to there, he had no other option than to be lodging in a hotel. And consistently he has been using this particular hotel, Hilton Royal Hotel or whatever it is called. And on this fateful day, he got to his base, lodged into this hotel, was in contact with the wife, and up to 8 p.m., he was still contacting the wife. They were still talking, normal spouse, couple talk, talking about home and the trip and everything. He had an exam the next day. So what happened was this. After they talked around 8 p.m., the wife tried to reach him again, but could not get through to him. Up until the next day, the wife was still trying his line. You slept in a hotel. There's no way you would tell me that there was no light for you to charge your phone. So the wife became so worried, became so concerned as a wife should be. I started calling, started calling, started calling and nowhere to be found, nowhere to reach him. After the, that day, the next day, he did not come back. He did not communicate the wife's. So, normal person no matter how strong you are there's no way you will not be scared you will not feel that something is wrong somewhere and that was the wife's instincts at this point even though some people were telling her that it was not up to 24 hours blah 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 that she should calm down but something in her was telling her that something was wrong until she was able to contact the school and found out that the husband even missed the exam he was not there for the exam so he had she had no other option than to escalate but surprisingly to her when she escalated the issue the hotel denied that she did not lodge in that hotel you know when you lodge a complaint to the police or whoever to consign people they will ask you to the point which you know about his itinerary so this lady was able to give account of the of the husband's movement up until he lodged in that very hotel till 8 p.m when he has entered his room, room 305, okay? Now, police swung into action. They went to the hotel for investigation and found that there was no record of such person lodging in that hotel on the said date. They became so curious. They wanted to know what happened because the wife was so sure. They went back to the wife and the wife said, this is the hotel that he has been using. And then he, she went and grabbed collected all the evidences she could lay her hands on down to the receipt of her, his previous lodgment, the ones he has been using, to tell you how accountable this man has been to the wife, okay? There was that much trust. I know this is what the Gen Z will call woman rapper because was she know where you are? 
do you all have that much information? You have traveled. Why don't you flex? You know, that kind of a thing. Must she know where you are lodged? But this man was a responsible man who was just carrying the wife along on every of his trip. So the wife was able to provide the evidence that really helped the police to stood their ground and investigated the matter until he came to this conclusion of this death sentence of these ones. The lesson I want to pick from this is this. Being open to your spouse, trusting your spouse to that point that you can carry him or her along on your journey, giving details and account of your itineraries. The world is bad. There is evil out here. We don't even know who will be the next victim. God forbid that this will happen to any of our own, but what if can we come up with an evidence that will help to a kind of bring a closure to what really happened to your dear one because the tormenting part of it is when this kind of a thing happened and there's no closure you wouldn't even say that this is what really happened you cannot even lay your hands on where and what happened and where he stopped his journey did he make it to the venue did he make it did he even leave the park you will just be so confused but in this case it is the other way around the wife was so sure because this man carried him along I know there is no type of judgment that will be sorry guys they just took light so it will be dark but let me just put do a conclusion okay i know there's no judgment that will be enough to console this woman and the pain she's going through currently or there will be enough to replace the father that they lost or the husband dear spouse that she lost there's no judgment that will be enough to console her but the fact that she has a closure on what really happened to the husband and the fact that these people were served with the right judgment that, that they deserve i think over time this woman will begin to heal i've given you people more details about the son that even ran away that see they are still looking for up to this moment i mean the son of the owner of the hotel and the confiscation of the hotel and all that but because there's no light again i will end it here but the fact remains that in all these things, there is always lessons to be learned. And until next time, guys, I remain checks and see you guys in my next video. Bye.